Happy New Year, guys. Welcome to this extra video. This is the video that we do every single year, the one that takes me forever. That is why it is late. This video is late. It's January the 3rd today. Is it the 3rd? January the 3rd today, and we're just getting this video out. All right, so I'm just going to go through some of the big things that we did this year. We got six new pets. Six. Whoops. Six new pets. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, these are two of them. We got this puppy. And we got this puppy. Can you tell which one is younger? Can you tell which one is better behaved? <laughs> this one is nine months old. This one is five months old. This one's better behaved. This one's better behaved. This, this one's one, sweeter. This one's more lovey. Lovey. Uh, this is a Dalmatian. That's a Border Collie. And we got four more Who only pets. has one ear up. I don't think this year's ever going to go I up. I don't think again. it's ever going to go up either. Anyway, welcome to this video. I'm excited to share with you guys everything that happened this crazy year for us. Okay, so last year we got four horses. Last year in 2019 we got four horses. How many horses did we buy this year in 2020? How many horses did we buy in 2020? One. Two. Oh, Chino and Penny. Yeah, we got two horses this year. So we are doing better. We are slowing down. If we only get one new horse next year, there will be a trend and it'll be a good trend. Sam's giving me the eye over there. He's like, what? There will be no new horses in 2021. All right, so let's start with January. We're just gonna... 2022 is next year. Oh, well, this year. This year that we're in right now. There will be no ho new horses this year. Oh, there will. Oh, there will not. They, there there will. will. I mean, Sam might get a horse. Sam, maybe Sam. Will, like, I'd love if Sam went for trail rides with us. Yeah, she get a Frisian mare. But let me tell you, trail riding is a hard skill. It's a, it's a hard thing. Okay, so let's get started. Hopefully, the puppies <laughs> behave. My just moved it. The, yeah. So you guys know, 2020 was a crazy year. Absolutely crazy, horrible in some ways, but good in some ways. But it was just a crazy year and we still managed to do some fun stuff. So let's get to it. In January, we bought Gabby a show horse. He's an appendix. He's a huge, ginormous, gorgeous appendix. All right, so in January, we got Gabby a show horse. We got Chino and she did a ton of riding with him that winter. Been an amazing journey with Chino, other than the fact that he's got bad feet. We're dealing with that and we're just gonna keep dealing with it. I feel like we're on the verge. We're gonna hit a plateau where we're gonna learn what Chino needs to keep his feet healthy and then we're gonna be good. I don't know, is he the horse that we need? Is that what I'm asking you on camera? Well. Should I shut off the camera? Yeah. <laughs> Another thing that we did this year, early in this year, is we took on a new horse. Do you remember the name of the horse? A horse? Penny. No, a horse that wasn't ours that we took care of. Sky. Yeah, we took care of Skye while her owner was um, finding room for her in her herd. And so we took on this horse. It was a totally green horse, really stubborn, Appaloosa mare. And Appaloosa. yeah, and she was really pretty. And she she started to heal our hearts after having Stella. And I feel like we played a role in her heart, in her life, and she played a role in our life. And then eventually she moved on to live with her owner and she's gone from us. But it was definitely tricky learning about a new horse that wasn't ours. I feel proud of us that we took care of her when she needed us and it was a great experience. Oh, I'm cold. Oh, here comes Willow. See, it just takes Mama Laura coming into the room. Where is Gracie? <laughs> Oh, here we go.
last winter learning to ride. We had four lessons a week last year. It was crazy. We in, were at another barn with a bunch of kids. We had, it was the creation of the mom squad. Do you guys remember the mom squad? Peter! Find your right child. Your child's over here, Deb. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fiona needs to be the vlogger in the group. I'm tired. Oh my God. It's at least the same damn color. I'm thinking she's on red, okay? It's the same color. No, it's not. Yes, she is. <laughs> he's he's not, not red, he's red. <laughs> <laughs> Fiona's right. No. There's three dark horses. Oh, that's a Sam and Laura job. That's a Sam, Sam, are you actually really sick? I saw nothing I'm either. Actually, you really sick. You got two. Fuck, he's really sick. God help him. Sam, are you really sick? Borderline, borderline, borderline. I want to be kind to him. Borderline. <laughs> Imagine you were sick and somebody made you get up and clean up horse poop. <laughs> are you really sick, Sam? Are you? <laughs> Well, if he was really sick, I would do it. We had a lot of fun until March hit. And once March hit, COVID really became overwhelming in our area and everything got shut down. It's the first time we've ever dealt with a pandemic and global shutdowns. And we ended up having to bring our horses home for the first, well, we ended up having to bring our horses home early and we lost our lessons, but we brought our horses home and we did a lot of really fun things with them when they came home. I've been all around the world oh, Every city, every place oh, Longing for you, pick up the phone Catching the flight, I'm coming home Back to the place I've always known Home, home Say in the suit, I gotta run We're gonna have a lot of fun And spend in this summer it was terrifying but fan reared at going through the gate so much like literally was straight up and down she <laughs> just kept going so last winter Sophie got her very first custom saddle right what kind did you get Sophie CWD do you like it still mm -hmm. so a year in and Sophie's still in love with her saddle it's been a year since I got my saddle. It's been a year. It's been a year since you got your saddle. History in the making. Ten-year-old gets her very first custom saddle. Oh my gosh. I don't know how we end up getting the color that I love, but this is the color that I love. <laughs> It's gorgeous! So soon after Chino arrived, he wasn't even completely fit yet. We did our very first show. Do you remember how that went? How did it go? Good. Chino has really truly showed us that as long as we can get his feet working, he has a force to be reckoned with. He's a great contender. He's going to be a great show horse for Gabby. Hold your gun, cut the wire, aim 
There's a hack off for champion because Gabby and Madison are in tie for first place. Okay, Gabby's in tie for first place. This is a hack off. It's our first hack off. Extended trot. Smile. Smile. <gasps> Sophie got a fifth. Gabby first. Oh my gosh. So last year we did our very first Valentine's Day special where we did a uh, uh, does our horse really love us challenge video and that was really fun our does our horse really love us challenge videos has become one of our favorites for you guys and we love doing them we're going to do them again soon maybe in february um we have penny now and we're going to see do our, does our horse really love us again hey, we're living quick in the world gotta get it right now people talk and tell what you want to hear now but they all disappear, they will let you down, so We better stick together, let's come whatever We're not coming home tonight Didn't even look. Wow, look who has more patience laying here against their will. Molly or Daisy? Are you against your will? Are you being held against your will? Um, so last winter, because we were in lockdown, we ended up creating a bunch of fun videos, doing a bunch of 24 hour videos. We had the grandkids over a few times. Like we just spent the winter that season having fun into the spring having fun and just do making videos and just doing what we wanted to do with our horses. Yeah. What? I forgot my chocolate in the freezer. You don't need chocolate, you're gonna be sleeping. Dang it. I am not staying up, I can't. We need to go walk around down there and be like, oh my God, she doesn't yeah, down. Yeah, I wanna do it. I actually wanna do yeah, that. Yeah, so we're staying up. Okay, how about if. You I'll wake you up. up. Uh, yeah, we I'll go slap you in the face to wake you up. I'll go. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, I mean, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> now, what's going to happen if revenge happens in the middle of the night? Did Jacob pee on you? <laughs> <laughs> Jacob goes sleepwalking. Jacob goes sleepwalking and pees in the bucket, but really it's on Gabby's head. <laughs> Don't do that, Jacob. Oh, dear. A new love affair on the day by day. Finn. Arm. Uh oh. To her. Finn was naked. Finn, choose Finn. I mean, I love Chino, but Finn is such a love. I mean, Chino's a love too, and Storm's over there. Crazy Finn's more Oh my goodness. I wanna dance with you. Everything's moving slower. I don't know what it is you do. I've been looking at you all night, trying to figure you out. I just wanna make you smile. It's what you're doing, making me feel like I'm falling. And when you're moving, I can hear my calling. There's no one else here that I see but you. It's what you're doing, it's making me feel like I'm falling. Yeah, I'm falling in love. Mm -hmm. Falling in love. morning guys welcome to today today is Tuesday and we are headed down to do chores I got Sophie here with me hi guys welcome to today Sophie did you brush your hair this morning yes Sophie I do not think that you washed your face or brushed your hair today I did it maybe I forgot Sophie you even have food on your shirt 
Oh well. We are still waiting for Gabby. We're always waiting for Gabby. Gabby, come on. We have to go down and feed the horses. Gabby, let's go. Gabby. I'm coming. I had to do my makeup and my hair. I have to take my puppy out before I do anything. Unfortunately, last year we lost another beloved pet. Who did we lose? Cookie. We lost Sophie's cookie dough. She was 10 years old. She was a rescue dog. She was Sophie's beloved pet, and that is why she has a new Dalmatian who's over in the corner chasing toys, making a ton of noise. Um, but so we did. It was sad. We lost cookie dough, and thankfully, knock on wood, it was the only pet that we lost last year. One is enough, though. You guys, that sadly, last night, we had to say goodbye to one of our beloved pets. Unfortunately, it was one of our little chihuahuas. And it was time for her to say goodbye. We weren't ready. We weren't expecting her to be ready. But it was her time, and only God knows when your time is. What if I said I'm sorry? What if I make a scene? You guys remember when that happened one day I didn't vlog it because I thought it would be an invasion of Sophie's privacy but one day we were getting ready to ride and she said I am not riding storm anymore I'm riding my own horse I want to ride my own horse she was crying and she was mad and sometimes it takes anger to get you where you need to be and she was determined to get on her horse because she had suffered some confidence issues Gabby had been riding him and she got back on her horse and she has continued to improve with him this entire winter this entire year and do things on her horse that i never thought she'd be capable of i knew she'd be capable of but i never thought she'd i never expected her to get so brave and to just jump on there and be determined and make him her own i'm proud of you for that so i know so sophie's regaining her horse you guys remember oh <laughs> Yeah, Finn said. This is building confidence, you guys. We are building confidence. No, do it. Come on, it's gonna be for the show. Come on, Sophie, you can do it. Come on. Your grandpa's here watching you. You can do it. Go, go, go. We got two new kittens to help us battle the mouse problem in the barn and they've been wonderful joy, pure joy, pure sweetness, pure amazing. I don't know. <laughs> he probably slipped out behind us. But you have to stay with your friend. I don't actually like locking them in that room because it's dark. Like yeah. I like them better in this barn. There's a window, but it's not nice. Not nice wow, and bright. Wow, your sister was so sad. Come on, crazy man. Come on, I go put you away. Just, we're <gasps> screaming, calling for him, and he's just laying there. I think, oh, look, she's like, don't you ever leave me again. I will kill you. <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna, <laughs> oh, yeah, she's cleaning him. She's going to drag him by I'm the ear. I'm so glad to see you. you. Look at her. Okay, so we ended up that we were able to do some shows this year. Our country our province never got away we never got fully out of covid we not only did we have to wear masks this entire year from march on but we were only ever allowed 25 people in one place inside 100 people outside and we were only allowed 10 people in our bubble so we never got to go back to normal life ever this year yet and we're still not back to normal life but we were able to get in some shows they just had to be really inventive in how they put on the shows and we had a really really good show season she won a lot of champions how do you feel you did this show season i'm finn i did pretty good because i didn't win champion because i was in a new class crossroads did, did you win so you win champion sometimes that's, that's like 
once. So it's true, Sophie um, changed from doing walk, trot, poles to a jumping show. And it was definitely a little bit more challenging for her. She did really well. I mean, she, I won a ribbon. She won lots of ribbons. She did really well. It was a, such a successful series, and I'm excited for her to do. You gonna show that again this year? Yes. What are you showing this year? Two six, hopefully. Two six. Two six trillion. Five a.m. and we are in trouble, but we don't really care. Really care. Tell ourselves there's always tomorrow. But it will still be fair No, they don't pick us up Instead, they knock us down And that's the way it goes Until we're in the ground I don't want to do this anymore No, I just want to say Uh, Gabby and Kaylee went to their first clinic. How did you feel about your first clinic? Hated it. It was stressful. It was hard, but you learned a lot, and she learned. They learned to love the idea of going to clinics. Do you want to do more clinics? <laughs> this is embarrassing. We took our horses swimming again. We do that every year. This year, we really want to take them someplace different. I have kind of an idea of what we're going to do. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. If you're looking for some closer, I'll tell you everybody's getting in a line for the water slide. Not gallop, yeah, but trot. I'm like Sophie. I'm gonna trot on the beach with Penny. I wanna do more trails with Penny. So speaking of trails, um, something that happened this year that I don't know if I really spoke very much about is that I learned to ride at the Paso Fino Farm here in our area. I learned to ride this summer. We went for six or seven trail rides this year. Two hours all together so that's like about 12 hours of riding that I did this summer that you guys didn't really get to see a lot of and it was a ride or die situation I they stuck me on a horse said I'm sure you'll be fine you can keep up and I just follow along with the rest of the people I learned I mean, to gallop I learned to first I learned to canter then I learned to gallop and that's just been all amazing and fun for me it's it's easy at the Pasofino farm because the horses are smooth they're, yeah, gated horses are a totally different situation. They don't move up and down. They move back and forth. So there's not, you lose that feeling that you're going to fall all the time. You need a little bit less balance somehow, maybe. Um, it's easier. But you guys should know, Gab, Sophie really struggled when we first started going there. She did not love it. It was hard for her. She found her place in the line of horses. And in the, our last ride there, Sophie galloped. I mean, I she galloped the fastest she's ever gone before. And that's a new, amazing, crazy thing for her. 
and I gallop too. My horse doesn't gallop as fast as the others, and I was good with that. So my gallop was probably more like a, an extended canter. But really so you held canter. us all back. So I held everybody back that was behind me. <laughs> but it was amazing. That's it was you're fun. Going back. Oh, and we're gonna start to gallop. Hold on, Laroca. Hold on. We got Miss. Oh, good lord. Essentially, I just did what you did. Hold on. Gabby. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of fun behind Gabby. So it was riding at the Pasofino farm all those times this year that taught me that I could ride and that I loved riding, I loved trail riding, and that I wanted a horse that I could ride because you guys all know I want to do more trails and I, and I, oh, every time we go on trails, I always am walking. I want to stop that. I want to be a passenger. I want to ride with the girls. Like that is my whole reason for getting into horses. So I went out and I found all on my own, which took such strength, you guys, such incredible strength. My trainers supported me from afar because it, with COVID and distance and travel, it just wasn't possible for them to be there with me. But I found a horse with God's help. I believe God helped me find this horse. And this horse has been amazing. I bought her all on my own, brought her home. Just doing that was like a, a challenge and took a lot of strength. But I did it and I've not looked back. It's going to be an amazing spring. I'm so super excited about my journey with Penny and not just my journey with Penny, but all of our journey because our journey is going to change again. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment we stay here forever I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment Planning a new camping trip this year. This year, regardless of anything that happens, we will go camping. We're gonna go to a new spot with new trails, new camping situation. It's gonna be amazing this year, you guys. I'm gonna start uh, planning this probably around March. I'm gonna book it. I'm gonna bring a bunch of our friends and we are gonna do the best camping trip this year that we've ever done before. March we surprised Gabby with a new puppy. It was for her birthday and it was exciting and she's never looked back. She did an amazing job with that puppy and she's raised that puppy to be the best darn barn farm dog that we've ever seen. Molly. Molly. She comes the first time. And this is her. She's nine months old now, and she's a dream dog. Oh my goodness! Happy birthday. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. No, it's coming up. Oh, it's coming up. But the puppies were born before her birthday. Oh, yeah. Hi, I know. Were you surprised? <laughs> okay, let's no. look at her and see if she's got any identifiable yeah, marks. Oh, yeah. Her nose is starting to turn black. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at her. So this is Molly. Is it Molly? 
That's what you're gonna call it? Yeah, this What's is the mother's name. Oh <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Pa. A few months later, we surprised Sophie with her dream dog. This is the dog that she wanted, a Dalmatian. We discovered that they are way harder than we thought that they would be, but she's been amazing, and we all love them. We all love all of them. But getting two dogs in a COVID year was kind of a shock to my I system. I mean, like, and COVID is a good time to get puppies because then you have, like, more time to spend with them. Cause yeah. Do you love it? Yeah. How do I open it? Isn't it cute? I need to open it. Eventually, we needed to move our horses to another barn with a big indoor arena so that we could ride throughout this winter and we found a completely different barn that was really close to us and Kaylee was there and it was close close to Fiona so we made the big so we made the big decision to switch barns so that we could be closer to our home and it would be easier for us to ride. So we went there and man, is it ever a diamond in the rough. Not that it's rough, but we had no idea looking at that barn and driving by so many times what was behind those trees. Our horses are living the way horses should live. It is such an amazing barn, not only in the way that it's set up and the way our horses get to live, they have an incredible care. They, the people there are amazing. The people who own this barn are seriously some of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. This barn has the least amount of drama that we've ever seen in a barn. It is just incredible. Girls made new friends and we're beginning to even make more friends until COVID hit this time, this winter. Uh, Sophie is just starting to meet a friend there. Uh, you guys might remember that Gabby with a group of girls rode their horses through town for the very first time um, on a big, long two hour trail ride. Was it two hours or more? Maybe it was five hours. I can't remember. Probably it was, four. It was a really long ride, but they rode like through town and Sam and I followed. I think it was at four till seven is when we got back. Yeah, it so, was. Oh man. It, so and then we, it, we got kind of caught in the dark on the way home. Um, but we followed behind them as much as we could in our car and took some video of them. But they rode their horses. They were, the goal was to ride them to McDonald's, but they ended up at a different restaurant. But so much fun. I hope we do more of that this year. Do you want to do more of that this year? No. <laughs> On my way to a weekend rumble, I forgot to check where the party was at. Roaming around without any trouble, I began to ask everybody I met singing. I saw a man with a pulled up collar playing banjo with an invisible stick singing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we have our own little parade. <laughs> He's actually like, he's scared. Horses in the park, you guys. Nothing to see here. Move along. Like this guy got mad at us for walking on the lawn. And that's been literally been like a coffee shop for like as long as I can remember. Maybe not driving through town, but like going on like the trails out there and stuff. Like the trails where we went were bad. You could only walk. So even though the world was shut down for a large part of this year and our country was shut down for an even larger part of this year and we're shut down again, we did manage to do a lot of fun challenges. We did manage to make a lot of fun videos and just live our life the way that we were meant to live. So we definitely plan to do that, more of that. I have a lot of hopes and a lot of dreams that I have banking on this year. It's just, it's just a thick tail now. Huh? She does have a thick tail. My dog is such a cutie. Okay, so what are your hopes? What's your one thing that you want to do this year more than anything, Gabby? Win Trillium. You want to win Trillium? Go to Trillium Champs. That's winning Trillium. She wants to go to Trillium Champs. What do you want to win? Or what do you want um, to do? I want to go swimming with the horses again. Oh yeah, we. I'm going to be looking for... Well, actually, maybe at this new campground, I'm going to be investigating it a little bit better, but maybe we'll be able to, to swim there with the horses do more fun things. Sam, is there anything that you really want to do this year? He probably wants to rest more. Yeah, um, no. No comment. No comment. He's like, leave me out of it. I don't want to do anything. 
Obviously, I want to do more trails. I'm going to get more confident on my horse. I'm I want to buy a new farm. That's what we want. want to buy a new farm. That is what we want to do. That is the goal for this year. That that is totally the big goal for my this year. My dog's going to fall off the couch. What do you want in a new farm, Gabby? Big arena. Big arena. What do you want in a new big, farm? Big, nice uh, barn and arena. Yeah, like we have six horses now. And like 50 now. horses. We have six horses now. We need to be able to accommodate that and we want an arena. That's all we want is to be able to stay home. But I love being at other barns because you get to meet people and hang out with people and Paige has been become such a really great friend to us and um, I like being able to go places but ultimately we want to keep our horses at home and maybe bring friends in and let them come ride with us. Anyway, that is our year in review. Comment below what your favorite video was this year or what favorite thing we did this year with our horses was. I'm interested to see what you guys liked the best. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sorry that this video was late, but promise, I promise you, it takes me forever to edit these kind of videos. Bye. Bye. Don't you know that you're beautiful?